Now this is another mod I'm going to be doing. These are the dimmer switches. I'm going to be using these on my night lights over top of my bed so I can control the brightness. You just take some wire. I'm using 16 gauge. So now I have a short piece and a long piece. Positive is the back one. The negative is the front one. I slide them in and tighten them down. Now I do the same thing to this side, side for the output and tighten them down. I'm ready to put the connector ends on the wires. These are the connectors I'm going to be using. They're good to up to 600 volts and 5 amps. What I want to do, tighten these up a little bit. Got the black O, negative side goes in it. Let's give it a good push on in and do the same thing to the positive. The other side, and do the same thing. Now there they're set. So this is the light I'm going to be dimming. To take it off, I'm going to give it a good twist and that cover will pop right on off. You can just unscrew it. And pull down, and there's the wires. What I would usually do is take out the speaker and put the switch over by the speaker. But since I have an opening in the middle, I'm going to put it on the other side. This board is real, th it's pretty thick for the inlet. I'm going to have to go down a little bit to give me enough room to put the nut on. Just a little. I don't want to, I don't want to drill through. I just want to go down a little bit just to give me enough room to put the nut on the switch. Then I drill a quarter inch hole in the center of it for the switch. Now, I pull the wires down. The gray wire is the positive, the white wire is the negative. So I'm just gonna cut the gray wire and strip the wires on both sides. Now I'm gonna look at the switch and see what side of the connector I need to put on. Then I'm gonna take the connector and connect it to the proper side for the positive wire on and take another connector and do the same thing to the other side. Now I'm going to be cutting the, the ground wire and doing the same thing. Now with the connectors on, I'm going to plug them together and make sure everything works. Then I'm going to put the switch in and test everything out and make sure the switch works. That's with the switch barely on. And if I turn, I can turn it off from this switch and I can slowly get it brighter. Then I can dim it back down. Okay, so that's all working. But now it's time to put the switch in. Um, got to take the cap off, the nut, and the washer. Reach in here with my big hands to get it in. Now if you have small hands, you're lucky. It's gonna be a lot easier for you. <clears throat> Finally, hey, I got it through. And now with it through, I go up, try to get the nut on. Tighten up the nut a little bit. Now my wife got some furniture markers from the dollar store. It comes with brown, dark brown, and black. I just take it and I go around the switch to blend in wherever there's wood showing. Now I can put the switch, the cap on, and there you go. Now I can put this right back on up. That's up. There we go. Line it and twist. Now, let's if you hit the button, of course, it's not going to turn on. So I just leave them on now and just use this as the one off. And that is it. Now, I still notice that the light blares on either side. If you have the one side on, that still blares on the other side. So what I'm going to do is black off half switch so the light stays on one of the sides. So I put a piece of electrical tape on to 
mark where I twist it off, and then I electrical tape that one side and put the cap back on. Now the light will stay on one side. It still comes over a little bit, but nowhere near as much. So it will not disturb the person sleeping beside you. Nice.